So why pick a basal body thermometer over a digital, and how do you even use it? In this video, we're going to show you all of that. So if you're looking to get pregnant, or you want to do a thyroid reset protocol, we're going to answer all your questions here. We know that measuring your body temperature is the best way to understand your thyroid health and its function. We also know that it is sort of a needed thing when you're looking to get pregnant and you want to follow your ovulation. Well, let's talk about why you would want a basal body thermometer over a digital. Okay, so I don't really want to count out any of the pros of a digital thermometer, which is that they are easier to handle. I mean, their fat little ends are really simple to hold on to. You don't have to remember to shake it down the night before, which is great. And it won't chatter on your bathroom floor if you drop it. But the cons really do outweigh the pros, and that's that one, the batteries need to be replaced way more often than you might imagine, and especially when you're using it daily. Sometimes they actually stop working for no good reason, so that's con number two, especially if you're trying to get pregnant and you really need to watch that ovulation. And the third reason, and it's the biggest reason, is that you get inaccurate readings. Sometimes it starts as the batteries start to die and you don't actually realize that the batteries are dying. Sometimes they're just, you know, having a technical difficulty and they're just not reading it correctly. So that's a huge one and it really is the main reason for not having a digital thermometer. Now let's go over the steps on how to use your basal body thermometer so you get the most accurate readings so you can track your health and get the results that you want. The number one thing you want to do is make sure to shake down the thermometer until the mercury falls between 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to place it by your bed at night when you go to sleep. Step number two is first thing upon awakening, before you become physically active, you want to gently push back most of your blankets and place the mercury thermometer under your armpit, not under your tongue, okay? It's got to be under your armpit for a full 10 minutes. This is crucial and it's really important that you understand that you do not move or get out of bed for any reason before taking the temperature because any activity will raise your basal body temperature and make the test results virtually useless. That means if you're going to wake up and make love, you better wake up 10 minutes before that your partner wakes up because, well, you're just not going to get accurate results. The third thing you want to do is, of course, record the temperature, the time, and the date. And the closer you get to the exact time in the morning, so let's say you wake up at 5 a.m. every morning or 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. every single morning, it's really crucial that you try to record your results at the exact time every day. And you want to do this for at least three days, at least three mornings, at the same time to provide a good average to work from. Now, below in the description, I'm going to put a link to our thyroid reset protocol. So if you are using it for thyroid, please refer to that blog. And if you're using it for pregnancy, I'll find a great video that we can link to for pregnancy as well.